Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's market sit rep. It is Monday, the 8th of January, 2024. That's right. New Year. It is. Uh... So happy new year. Exactly. <laughs> happy new year to everyone. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, it is my first uh, stream of the new year. So I am very excited to be back in action and uh, there's a lot uh, to catch up on on the charts and a lot of cleaning up to do. And uh, yeah, but I'm going to tell you a bit about that as well. Let me just check, make sure sound is okay. Yeah, sound is good. Okay, thank you. Good morning, Marios. Welcome back, Victor. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Rotten Cheese. Good morning. Hello, Arnold. Hello, Zin. Hi, Paul yes thank you thank you yes i did get some rest and reset over the weekend and not just over the weekend but uh last week as well hello Joran. hello Harun, my friend howdy justin hello chaba happy new year welcome back thank you thank you hello lucio prita <laughs> buenos dias so thank you for uh all for tuning in it's great to see so many people uh are uh, excited and ready to go and yeah, it's going to be an interesting uh, year for sure. I've had a, I already had a feeling towards the end of 2023 that this year, 2024, would bring a lot of opportunities. Yeah, and the beauty of uh, of, um, of being able to look at the charts objectively through technical analysis is that you can turn off uh, other aspects like fundamentals or news and just focus on what the chart is telling you. And I find that very comforting, you know, because um, it can get uh, confusing at, at times to keep a track of all this information. And this gives a very, very clear picture of uh, where things have been, where things are, and where things might go. You know? Sometimes it feels a little bit like, uh, like magic to be able to see these things, but uh, they just keep repeating over and over. And uh, yeah, we're going to start uh, covering... well. The same assets um, that I like to cover usually, well, maybe not all of them for uh, time reasons. I've already started cleaning up mm, my charts and uh, deleting old TA also from last year and just uh, setting up a completely fresh start or as fresh as possible. You can already see that my layout up here has now changed to BTC 2024. So I always make a new layout uh, for Bitcoin symbolically where the old TA is deleted and I only keep maybe something that is uh, still relevant for now or more higher time frame, but otherwise I just want to force myself to, to start clean in the, in the new year. And I guess we can check some performance that since uh, we're in this window, might as well do something, uh, something different. So the one year performance for Bitcoin is 159% to the upside. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. That would be that green candle here that went up or came up from the 16,400 area all the way almost to where 2022 started. Yeah, so 2023 almost reversed the entire previous year of price action. That's pretty cool. So these are what the, what the month, uh, yearly candles. This is the yearly chart, by the way. Every candle is one year. So this is what these, um, these candles are telling us. I uh, just wanted to give you an overview of what's in coming in for today. Uh, Bitcoin first, then I'm going to cover the NASDAQ, uh, then the US dollar index, DXY, then Euro USD, then gold, which is already uh, moving pretty uh, impulsively today already. Uh, and, and the day hasn't even really started. <laughs> well, London just uh, opened about an hour ago, but uh, New York's not even online yet. So this is going to be very, very interesting indeed on a Monday, and uh, then we're gonna wrap up with Ethereum. So that's the plan for today. If you have any questions, uh, yeah, there you go. Paul is writing it out. Oh, wow, you guys are uh, really going uh, super active on the chat now, huh? New Year. Uh... <laughs> Paul is on fire. Paul is on fire, guys. Bitcoin, NASDAQ, DXY, EURUSD, Gold, and Ethereum. Ethereum's missing, yeah. <laughs> that's the plan for today. Yeah, and if you have any questions, just pop them in the chat. I'm going to remind you about something a few times during the stream, or at least I'm going to try to remind you that we have decided to maintain the two week free trial for everyone. 
<laughs> new year, new me. <laughs> new year, new everyone. That's actually, I like that. New year, new me. Let's, let's get into that in a second. But first, uh, if you're interested in a two-week free trial to see the Safe House Vanguard, which means the premium section, which means the update today uh, with even more detail on a daily basis with order flow readings, with uh, George, the one and only uh, special fit man and uh, scalper extraordinaire with Paul, uh, with Wei and the entire team, as well as the wonderful members that we already have. And uh, that, yeah, it was really, it's been really a pleasure to, uh, to interact with you guys and work with you guys uh, last year and uh, looking forward to this year as well. So if you want to join us or all, uh, I mean, now we even have not just the daily sit reps, but we have the live trading sessions that are going to be coming your way pretty much uh, more than you can handle. Uh, <laughs> so uh, there's plenty, plenty of stuff in the premium session. And the cool thing is you can check everything out for free for two weeks. And if you like it, then fantastic. Uh, feel free to join. And if not, then uh, that's fine too. You haven't lost uh, any, uh, any money, but uh, I'm sure you will have gained some perspective and insights. <laughs> So yes, and click the like button and the subscribe button here on the YouTube channel because that helps the channel out a lot. So I'm going to try to remind you about this stuff, but you know, once I get into the charts, I usually get uh, lost there. Harun says we love we love gold, we love safe house. Guys, join and I promise and smash a like for Master Victor. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> wow, you guys, you're going to make me blush. Jeez. So yeah, new year, new me. That's actually a fantastic thing to say, Paul because um, if you guys check out the last video that we posted about how to handle a losing streak, yeah? Um, maybe Paul can post the link in the chat or something. And if not, just look in our YouTube channel. Um, if you check out that, uh, that, that short video about how to handle losing streaks, you'll see that one of the reasons I mentioned is, you know, your execution, your trading execution or, or yourself, yeah? So basically every trader is responsible or every market participant for his own actions and how you, I mean, even people with the same technical analysis, the exact same chart and things and drawings will execute the trades differently. Yeah? So that does play a role. So new year, new me means you can also use that as an exercise. That was the point I was trying to make to reinvent yourself to say, okay, last year was last year. This was the good stuff. This was the bad stuff. Now I'm going to uh, push forward. And I'm going to go for a new me that does things differently and uh, in some way improved over mm, the old version of me. So now comparing yourself to other people, but to yourself in the past. That's been uh, mentioned by much wiser and uh, <laughs> experienced authors than me in the past and uh, in different books. So yeah, just figured out. I just thought I would share that tidbit as well. But now let's get back to the charts. That's what we're here for, right? So um, yearly candles. It's a new year that has now begun. So I think it's very interesting to at least now uh, take a look at this perspective, not just because it's a new year and we have a new yearly candle to play with, but we have a yearly level on Bitcoin that is right, right, right in front of us. Yeah. And much like the monthly level at 45.5K, was it? was front run and then eventually hit this yearly level will probably do the same now yeah. doesn't have to but it will front runs like this are usually extremely suspicious so um i would uh, fully expect that yearly level to also be visited but you know it is where it is markets can do crazy things too the also other interesting thing oh look at that we're below the previous year high <laughs> anyway the other interesting thing is that now we have a new yearly level down here. Let me show you what I mean. That right there used to be the yearly open, or that's how I had it marked for 2023. And now since it's a red candle turning into a green candle, that's a momentum change. So that triggers the creation of a horizontal level after the second candle finishes, which happened now by the year ending. So now there's a new, amazing, fantastic yearly level of support just like 3,691 was. Now it's 16,529. And we still have the yearly level of resistance at 46,195. This has not been tapped. This has not been revisited. And this is a pending assignment. Okay? That's just the way it is. 
uh, and you're like, oh my God, who cares about yearly levels, man? I just want to trade right now. Well, well take, take it easy, Japanese. Check this out. This yearly level, oh, well, look at that. It was front run. <laughs> During the crash, let's see if I can get some more detail. Let me just switch to the monthly chart. During the crash, that was a crazy crash, man. March 2020, um, look at where price went. Yeah, okay, it didn't visit the level. Uh, in this occasion, usually they do get visited. <laughs> But how funny or how interesting is it that price uh, did not or turned around here? Yeah. So that's why I like to pay attention also to yearly levels, even if they're very high time frame, because they are very helpful. That's the creation of that one there, January 2023, uh, because they're very helpful uh, even for local trades, yeah? even for lower time frame trades or even for scalp trades, really. On the day that you hit a level like this, you do expect some sort of a reaction just like with a monthly level. Yeah? We're going to have a look at that as well. So, um, yeah, speaking of the monthly level, let me just turn on... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I deleted everything. <laughs> ah! Okay, let's turn that off for a second. Oh, yeah, I remember I wanted to draw it with you guys together. Well, there it is. That's the most important monthly level right now because it has been revisited, but it is the current resistance. Yeah? It's very easy to... Um, it's right there in front of us and it's very easy to use as a reference of hey this is where price is struggling right now other monthly levels of interest are this one here at 61,421 that's untapped but of course first way price has to get past this and the other stuff around 50k then there's some old ones around here this is interesting this is an interesting one that I might use for a possible Support resistance flip kind of thing. Same thing with this one. This has also been traveled through, so not super duper interesting right now. Um, but also something you can use for reference. But I just want to mark the fresh ones or the untapped ones. That would be the next one to the downside, 25,913. And then you have to go all the way down here to get another one. That would be the yearly level as well. Yeah. So if I turn on the yearly levels, that it's they're the same. So this one I don't really need uh, because there's a yearly level there. And the lower ones are way too far away. Um, so they're not very helpful. And we could also argue right now, 61K and 25K uh, are not helpful either because they're way too far away. So really, even though I'm going to put all of these in a nice folder, yeah, keep everything clean and tidy and just call it monthly levels. Boom. Um, really and honestly, we only need one, which is this one right now. Okay. Yeah, so before we go to the weeklies, let me just see on for funsies. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Bam, bam. Oh, and the back test. Oh, man. On Wednesday. On a Wednesday. And then the big drop. Oh, yes. We didn't see that coming. How can you? <laughs> I mean, look at it. <laughs> of course, this was to be expected. Jeez. Well, this is quite savage. Yeah, it doesn't have to happen that quickly. But uh, this was the front run of the monthly level. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, as price approaches it. Then it finally bursts up on the 1st of January, Monday. Tuesday the 2nd puts in the high. Lol, at what time? Oh, ooh, it was London this time. Congratulations. Trying to be a big boy, huh? Wednesday as well. The revisiting. I mean, at the latest, when you see that price is struggling above an important level like this and starting to retreat, then revisits it. And I mean, oh, I mean, I'm sure George covered all of this perfectly. So I'm not really going to spend much time on this, but oops, sorry about that. I need to get uh, back into things as well, like clicking them out instead of uh, doing other stuff. Let's see. Oh, dude, you got to be kidding me. What? What? Oh, my God. <laughs> And what time was this? 10 a.m. on Wednesday the 3rd. So, I mean, congratulations to everyone who was paying attention to uh, horizontal level and the fib retracement. And we haven't even pulled added volume to it. Yeah, those are the three ingredients. Uh, wait, this is going to pull the entire thing. Let me just change it real quick to not extend to the right. There you go. And local value area high. I mean... For a, for, a, for a local trade already, it's it's good, yeah, to cross the range. And then this is just, well, <clears throat> a little bit of a 
spicy Bitcoin sauce. <laughs> and let's see how many stop losses got triggered. Oh, look at that. You guys remember this? You guys remember how we were covering all of this? All of these stop losses, man. Stop losses, stop losses right there. Stop losses there. Let's look at this double bottom here. Bam. Ooh, this one we did not get hit. Okay, maybe next time. What, there's going to be a next time? Of course, there's always a next time. Up or down, doesn't matter. Anyway, sorry, I went uh, a little bit too deep. I got overexcited there about uh, how this monthly level was handled. But the point I was trying to make is this, this is why I marked levels like this. Because wonderful things like that can happen. You know? On high time frame, uh, this is just the beginning of a massive, uh, huge resistance box. Here between 45k and 50k, there's a lot of stuff coming in here including the big, big uh, volume point of control at 40, what is this, 47? So this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be a very, very uh, interesting area. And it's not a surprise to see uh, uh, strong rejections like that one um, from an area like this. Yeah? This is just the beginning of the area. So even if it does push higher, which I hope it does, you know, hit the yearly, hit the point of control, hit 50K, that would be great. I mean, imagine the madness, yeah? Oh my God, Bacon at 50K, I'm going to have to buy now. Yeah, okay, go on. Go ahead. Yeah, because I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> you do whatever you want, no financial advice, but I'm not doing that. Uh, I will be looking for uh, possible short positions, that's for sure. Anyway, let's not be too uh, dramatic. Take it one step at a time. So we've looked at the monthly level. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, to the downside, yeah, we said that, yeah. It's been green, 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 green. So the next monthly level is way down here. Not very helpful right now. But it does pose a question of, you know, what happens if there is a bigger retracement? Bigger than just what happened last week, yeah? There's no support here. Also, from a weekly perspective, the next untapped weekly level to the downside is all the way down here. And that is a problem. That is a problem in terms of, you know, how much can... Uh, Oh, there, there it is, yeah. Quickly down, no real resistance build, and quickly back up, yeah. I mean, these are weekly candles now, but still, you can see that when you do stuff like this to the downside, you do it to the upside as well, and it can go down like that as well again before it hits the next uh, big area of volume, which would be down here. There you go, yeah. But for now, we're still up here, and that weekly level is correct, but not very helpful right now. So what I would do is try to mark something more local. For example, that one here, even though these are already old, unfortunately. Uh, this would be the highest standing one here. And you can mark another one all the way down here as the lowest standing one. But they're both, they both have been traveled through. So I label them differently. I don't call them weekly levels anymore. I call them old weekly levels because price action has already traveled through them. And the one that I do want to keep is this one. 42302. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete the other ones. Boom. There you go. There you go. Oh, well, that was a crazy week, huh? And I was on vacation. Look at that. I missed all of it. And yet, price is exactly where I left it, <laughs> which is it was around here. <laughs> Just like nothing happened for me. So that's your weekly open, huh? Mm. And that's a weekly level. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't that nice? And when was this? This was last Friday. Okay. How about that heads up? Okay, let's add some daily levels to the mix. I have to speed it up a bit because we're already up to 24 minutes and we have a few things to cover. But you can see it's a, it's a special stream in a sense. So uh, hit the like and subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. <laughs> I remember to say it. <laughs> yeah, it's a special stream because for me, I haven't looked at the charts in like a week and a half. So it's like, you know, oh, what happened? And I have to start catching up on things. And it's very exciting to discover thoughts that I had last year. Oh, this could happen. That could happen to see how they played out or not played out. And to just get back into things, it's very, very, uh, very interesting. I enjoyed it a lot and I could spend hours and hours on end doing this. So I'm just trying to give you the, uh, the compressed version. So that's an untapped daily level. This one has been tapped. No daily levels to the downside. 
Oi, oi, oi. Well, that's going to be a problem. My, my. That's, uh, that's a proper cleanup crew right there, huh? Let's see what we got here. Oh, all right. Let's put this on a folder here and call it Monday. <laughs> Look at that. Oof, I like that. See that yearly level right there? Alert is still on. <laughs> what was that weekly level again? No, not that one. Nope. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So that's that low. That's the available high that came after. So that would be golden pocket and value area low lining up perfectly, but no horizontal low. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it, there is one. It's just slightly higher. What about the old weekly? That one is down here. Okay, I'm actually gonna mark that old weekly again because I need something down here to... Okay, that last daily was around there too. Let's just call this one what it is. Yeah, so make sure it's crystal clear. In other words, it's been, un... it's been already revisited. Okay, 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 okay. So we got two interesting things. First of all, for the week ahead, yeah? First of all, this valley area high is a freaking wall right now. I mean, that is just nuts. How often price has tried to get through it and failed miserably. And this is a pending assignment. So at some point, I would like another push to the upside. It's just that for now. Let me see. I'm gonna have to think about this for now. Ooh, yeah, this is resistance. Yeah, this is a resistance area. What do you expect from here? That's your resistance area, and this is your support area. The weekly golden pocket value area low seven one seven eight six with the old weekly. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I like it. So very easy. As long as this resistance here holds, which is the value area high, keep it simple. Point of controls right now, local support. Then uh, I'm up for this weekly level. I'm up for that golden pocket with a value low. And I'm up for revisiting this area as well. Why not? Yep. So another range rotation to the downside. And then hit the yearly level. <laughs> what is that? 19th of January. Should I just leave it like this? Okay, I'm going to leave it like this. <laughs> oh. what, what should we call this um what i feel nothing <laughs> what should we call this like uh january flow <laughs> i don't know just some ideas i'm getting but yeah in any case uh this is an area of resistance so i'm not interesting in a you know we're still on the four hour time frame now so this is not scalping this is more high time frame uh, more high time frame perspective i do like the idea of visiting the yearly level up here but the way this is uh this has been playing out now um this seems to be heavily struggling up here we're at the valley area high so i would just expect like with any range a rotation to the valley area low and there is some stuff down here as well so might as well go down there what's today monday so let's say monday tuesday just like the high was put in on a tuesday how about we put in the low on a Tuesday as well, just to make it rhyme, you know? And then take it from there. So what I would like to see if price, what I want to see here is lots of longs opening, but failing to push price up, then they get wrecked as price moves to the downside. Here, a lot of shorts opening, but price not really moving down. And then them getting wrecked as price pushes up again. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. Hope that makes sense. Anyway, let's jump on to the next one because we've been talking about 20, 29 minutes already. What did you guys say? Hit that like with a great video. Miss trades, I feel nothing. Hashtag, I feel nothing. Yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> sure, I missed that move because I was uh, AFK last week from the charts, but uh, I feel refreshed. Stronger, better, faster than ever. And I'm getting a lot of interesting, fresh ideas. 
I mean, I can't cover everything today on the, on the stream, but I will keep you updated during the week and cover it uh, on the other sit reps and the live trading sessions. I think there's a lot of stuff heading our way. So, you know, you can you know, keep your mind sharp and uh, focus on the best trading opportunities, you know. And if, so what, what is this? It's an, it's a nice range rotation. Sure. But you know, do you think it's going to be the last one? Of course not. Of course not. So let's move on to the NASDAQ. Oh, what a beauty. And I mean, this is just my preliminary, very high time frame stuff playing around. So let me walk you through this. Um, let's go to the yearly chart first, because this is already very exciting. There's the yearly level at uh, 16,350. Yeah. Um, and this is also very, very interesting because this is going back basically. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ragdogs. Happy New Year to you too. How are you doing? I hope you are well. If you are who I think you are, then uh, I hope you're well. And it, uh, thank you for tuning in and saying hi. You're welcome anytime. You can also join the Vanguard for two weeks and uh, say hi inside if you want for free. Marius, Paul and me will soon release the average camel range set rep. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Anyway, this goes back to the basics of technical analysis. That's a horizontal level. It's a yearly. We've already discussed how these are created, right? And you have 2023 doing something differently than on Bitcoin. Yeah, this is the NASDAQ. This is um, this year. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me just get a quick drink. <clears throat> so that's the, uh, the index. And last year, it managed to not only reverse all of 2022, but beat the highest price from 22 and from 21 and make a new all-time high. So that's pretty cool. That's very, very strong and very powerful. Yeah. This one is looking best out of all of them for sure. I mean, absolute beast. And now you're like, oh my God, how is the year starting? Look, it's pulling back from the all-time highs. And oh my goodness. Well, actually this as it stands like this is just a back test or a revisiting price revisiting the yearly level as support from this perspective so what do i mean by that i mean that price closed the candle above the yearly level yeah up there then it's pulling back to revisit it and confirm this area as support to then push higher to new all-time highs that's the message that this could be sending from this perspective this is of course the yearly candle and it doesn't have to turn around here it can go lower um so we need to give it a little bit of time because it's just been one week let's be let's be honest this takes time so we can go lower to the um down to the lower time frames to see if we can get better information about a possible turnaround or not and here we already see a little bit of trouble in paradise i guess you could say because um yeah that's going to be an important area okay let me show you that after that, wait, that's your next untapped monthly level of support, 14,380. So that's a pretty big drop for this. Yeah, to drop another 11%, that's pretty rough. Yeah, it's not crazy and it's not the end of the world, um, but it's a bit rough. But that's the way it is with uh, the available monthly levels, right? The other one that is a bit higher and less rough, but also very interesting, rough, rough, is this monthly level that was perfectly you see that dynamic candle closes above the level revisits it on the following candle month in this case and pushes higher that's what i meant with the yearly level this is what could be happening right now yeah exactly what happened with this monthly level candle closes above back to on the following and takes off that's what could be happening right now with this yearly level and it's right now below it so we shall see this is a very, very interesting area, 15,784 already. So I'm keeping that one in mind. And now we can go down to the weekly candle. Uh, let me turn off. That's your former all-time high. Yeah. So phew, pulled back Yeah, last week, basically. And this week, look at what it's doing with the yearly level. I'm going to zoom into this. You see that? Closes a weekly candle below, revisits the yearly level, loses the weekly open, and moves lower. That's not bullish. That's bearish. On the weekly time frame. 
but we're comparing yearly time frame, which doesn't give a <clears throat> doesn't care about uh, what the weekly candle is doing or the monthly even. The yearly candle, uh, the yearly level needs a yearly candle period. So these are lower time frames for that level. But it's still a heads up of right now. I'm not ready to go above the yearly level yet. Right now it's too much for me, and I'm looking for something lower. There you go. There's a possible all monthly level. Huh? From a weekly level perspective, well, it's even worse than the monthlies. The next untapped weekly level is down here. So there's nothing, basically. That's what that's saying. But what we can do is say, all right, all right, we got some horizontals. We got some, uh, oh, wait, I don't need to draw this because I think I already have it. Let me just show you this. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, let me turn off that one. Yeah, that's your all monthly level. A very, very important SR flip, resistance, flip to support perfectly here on December 4th, and a new high. Yeah? So this is going to be important. Then comes the value area high. That's your first support area. Then comes your golden pocket with the maximum in volume since the... What? Oh, wow. Since May 2023. Oh, wow, that's a big one. So the maximum in volume, at least on this chart, on Wanda, is here at the golden pocket. And then you've got your uh, untapped monthly level all the way down at the value area low. My goodness. Well, I actually like that very much. October. Oh, I would give everything back. What a slap in the face. Yeah. You know, I love monthly levels, man. What can I say? Yes. Let me check one more thing. Ooh. So the super bullish scenario would be to come here, back test this, and go again. Of course, it doesn't have to be. Okay. We can also do it like this. Bing. Bing, bing. Something like that. You know, I can spend a while ranging up here. You can build a range up here. That's interesting. But this is going to be the first area of interest. Then comes this one. And then comes this one. Those are the three that I'd be looking at. If this one is lost, then you open the entire range. Yeah. So the point of control is, of course, very interesting. But you have to also take into consideration the bottom of range. Another bullish option would be, let me change this back so you guys can see it. And gals. I'm going to take my horse to the old time road. Mm. Another option would be to hit this and reject like crazy and go for another high. That would be also cool. So you see there's a lot of stuff coming up. This is very high time frame. I'm on the weekly still. So, you know, it's very speculative right now to talk about these areas, but, you know, it's something I'm keeping in the back of my head for sure. For sure. Uh, whoops, sorry about that. But for now, that would be our local perspective, yeah? For now, this is the little range up here that it has to go back to, this one. Or it has available, you know? If it comes back to this little range here, then that's your uh, battery high point of control. So this is actually quite interesting. Yeah, I like this area. What is this, 15,000? Ah, right below 16,000. There you go. That's nice. Let's get. Let's start with that. That's the first thing I think uh, it can go for. Golden Pocket is already already provided a bit of an answer, the 618, but it's a bit lonely up here. Let's see the volume for everything. Yeah, it's still down here, so haha. Yeah, it's a bit lonely up here. So a bit lower. Okay, for the S&P 500, uh, it's going to be a similar story. You know, they do kind of tend to move very similarly to each other, even though this one looks a bit better. But I'm going to cover that separately just for time reasons. Um, yeah, I'll post some charts on this one about it, about that. But I thought the NASDAQ was more interesting. So jumping on to the next one, I'm going to try to speed it up a bit. US dollar index. So this is the uh, basket of currencies, US dollar versus uh, versus the other biggies, which would be the euro, the Great British Pound. Paul, help me out. Japanese yen and Swiss franc. Did I miss one? Yeah, I think that's it. And uh, yeah, yearly levels again. I mean, <laughs> I've shown you this uh, before already, but look at the 
beautiful, beautiful resistance that this uh, yearly level, this yearly level has been here, and the beautiful support that it has been here. So this is uh, from 2015 to 2021. And now look at the interaction of price with this yearly level as we speak. Yeah. Well, as we speak, for all of 2023, basically. Now, this yearly level is extremely important because if lost, if this area is flipped to resistance, then you open the entire range down to the 90, 89 cents for the US dollar index. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. If, however, it holds a support, then you can start, of course, here is going to be resistance again but you start theoretically opening the door to 116 which is also pretty crazy cad ah the canadians too okay well i was missing that one but the, but the other ones were right okay that's good acr usd <laughs> no <laughs> so uh yeah what am i keeping an eye on this yearly level oh wait isn't there a new one? Yeah, there is. Haha. I think I marked it already. Why isn't it on? Ah, I think I wanted to do it. Uh, well, might as well just do it again. Uh, turn everything off. Let me just turn this one on. Yeah, that's all we need. Okay, cool. This one goes up here. Boom. That's a new yearly level now. 103.494. 103.494. What did I say? 103.494. That is a big, big, big bad resistance for this one. Wow. Ooh. Well, that monthly level has been there for a while. It's nothing new. But uh, keep an eye on this one as well. If if it manages to, but the yearly one is more important now. The yearly one is more important. There's our weekly level up here. Boom. So that's what I would do locally. Yeah, I'm just walking through it with you. Boom. There's another weekly down here. Boom. So that's your support. And here we go. Party time. Let me see that 2T roll. Oh, what? what is that? A double top? I don't like that. 786. So it's already rejected off the golden pocket. Hasn't reached the George special quite yet. But the 786 is lining up with a yearly level. That's very interesting. Very, very interesting. So that yearly level is probably the next. As long as this one holds, 102.210, which is holding perfectly. Look at that. These are daily candles now closing above it after this little turnaround here. Well, what happened here? Tuesday just went nuts, huh? Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Um, Let me see this one. What about this one? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Ooh. Yeah. I think this looks like more upside, guys. And gals. Mm -mm -mm. Fresh weekly level of support, huh? That's your range right now. Uh, we don't need this one for now. That's too far away. But that weekly is important. This weekly is important. That's your support. That's your re resistance. And that's and that's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, that's a deep one though. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like it. <laughs> I'll look at that later and keep you guys posted. But uh, that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go to the euro, which would be the inverse one. I wanted to show you as well. Ah, yeah, this is where I had it. There you go. Yearly level. This is the yearly chart as well. Yearly level support. Old yearly level that had was back tested in 2023 or revisited as resistance. And now this year has started by pulling back. And this yearly open now can be officially deleted and now be labeled for what it is, which is whoops, a yearly level of support, a fresh yearly level of support. I mean, come on, man. How often do you get stuff like that? This is crazy. This is so good. That's your monthly. Mm, okay, whatever. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Ooh, put the controls up here now, huh? Mm. That's what's holding it up so far. But I mean, ah, <laughs> Paul, Paul, Paul.
Oh, is that a good number? Is that an auspicious number? 107.039. It doesn't look auspicious at all. Missing some eights, isn't it? Yeah. And nothing more to say about this. Oh my goodness. Untapped yearly level with a golden pocket. We're done. Bye. <laughs> That's where the euro is going. That's it. <laughs> Period. <sighs> the major currency pairs are Euro USD, USD GPY. So the, the Euro, the Japanese Yen, Great British Pound, Swiss Franc, Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar, and New Zealand. What did you call it? Kiwis? What do you call them? Kiwis? Kiwis? Aussies? Uh, what do you call the Canadians? I don't know. You guys have funny names for all this stuff. So hard to type it out here. The ACR is more exotic. I think we had an one live on Wednesday. Some crazy gold trades. Yeah, I can imagine that, man. I mean, gold is uh, gold is crazy, yo. It's amazing. But the four main ones in the world of currencies are Euro USD, dollar yen or gopher. Oh, fiber gopher. Sterling or cable, yeah. Dollar Swiss or Swissy. Oh, I like that. Swissy. Fiber, gopher, cable, and Swissy. <laughs> That's the world of Forex for you. Oh man. Hit the like button and subscribe if you like what you see. This is the good stuff. Join us. Say Pels Mango. Am I doing it right? Paul is watching his your turn. No, not auspicious. Where are my eights, boys? Got a sweet long last week at one other news. Not that auspicious. Yeah, that's nice. So yeah, um, I don't know what else to say, guys. Uh, you can mark the weekly level if you want. The untapped one that you guys already noticed. I mean, more locally, yes, you do have a weekly level of resistance here. Um, which is also very, very interesting because that looks locally like it could be something very, very productive. This one is uh, kind of front-running everything, but oh, there's another one down here. Hello. Look at that. So even though this one's untapped, and you can definitely expect a reaction here. I mean, this is just beautiful. Look at that. Yearly level inside a golden pocket like this. Yearly level inside a golden pocket. I mean, and the weekly and the value around the seven days is just, yeah. This is absolutely okay to rotate, even though this has been a bullish turnaround since October 23. This would be perfectly fine to rotate down here. Stabilize again and then uh, go for another rotation. Why not? Absolutely no problem, man. Why not? Yeah. Reached, uh, wasn't there a monthly level up here? Where's my monthlies? Woo. I need to clean this up a bit more. Oh, there you go. There you go. Monthly level up here. Old monthly level at one. Oh, there's the auspicious number. The old monthly level at 106.888. There it is. You happy now? <laughs> and the other one down here. So yeah, there's no, I mean, this area is crazy, man. Wow. Sorry, you guys, but that's uh, that's the chart, man. I can't do anything about it. It's just what it is. Well, I can do something about it, of course. And I will do something about it. In due time. In due time, no need to rush. But uh, that's a great high time frame price target. I think so. I think so. But the year just started, so let's take it easy, please. No financial advice. So speaking of gold, this one I have not updated yet. Accept my apologies. I was playing around with the other charts and then all of a sudden I realized, holy crap, I need to do the stream. I was uh, <laughs> having a little too much fun. So this is still a work in progress. This is exactly the chart as it was at the end of last year. So I have not updated anything. Okay. So this is old stuff, so to speak. At least one and a half weeks old. Um, yeah, Thursday 28th, that's it. That's, those were the last days I was looking at this stuff. But the funny thing is that, look at that. Look at that thing that I drew. <laughs> this was drawn during the Friday stream on the 29th. You guys can check it. Check it. Check it. As well as this one. Check it and remember. Okay? So yeah, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and stick to 2004. I like that number. Weekly level at 2004. Let's go. Oh, uh, what about the volume? Let's see. Where's the volume? Ooh, yikes. Even lower. Yeesh. Oh, so basically it's hold this or uh, hold the value very high. Or uh, you're going for the weekly, huh? Oh, my. But I mean, this is like even nastier because this is basically saying 
that it needs to go back to the daily level down here and the uh, yikes yeah i need to update this one uh i'm uh ooh, this is a lot of interesting stuff because what about this one Ooh. oh my oh my that daily level very interesting okay i'm gonna update this chart and uh, i'm gonna post it on uh i'm gonna post it on uh on discord so record by the way going back to the high time frames record high yearly close yearly candle close on gold yeah after making new all-time highs and the mother of all swing failure patterns it's just that look at this thing again man failing again at, at this level failing again ah <sighs> where's the next yearly level of support 1823 okay that's your next monthly level of support 1849 Yeesh. yeah okay i'm gonna work on this one I'll keep you guys updated. Yeah, but look at this rejection, man. That is just so, so beautiful. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. I mean, oh, the other weekly level. Oh, man. Yeah, sorry about the, you know, I like to keep my charts clean, so sorry about all this stuff. But uh, yeah. I'll keep you posted on this one, guys. We're gonna have some fun. Yeah, we're gonna do this in the in the live trading sessions for sure. All right, Ethereum, what's up? Also, old chart, haven't updated it yet. Um, yeah, weekly levels, I guess, huh? <laughs> oh man, these weekly levels are nuts. Ooh, did you touch? Where's my ranges? I have a folder with ranges forever. Did you get to the point of control? Oh. Holy guacamole, Batman. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Going back into the old range to the POC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly the way you do it. Wow. Nice. Ethereum, you are beautiful. You are so beautiful to us. So what is it struggling with now? Uh, oh, this is today already. Oh, Asia session keeping busy. Value area low. Point of control rejection. Okay. What did we see on Bitcoin? Oh, yeah, I see. Ooh. Okay. So that means you're in trouble for a bit, but not that much. And no need to be dramatic. Uh, ah, okay. George special. There you go. Good. 2119. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to work on this one as well and look at exo charts as well. Yeah, we're up to uh, 53 minutes already and I don't want to keep you guys uh, here for too long. But um, yeah, if you have any more questions, just hop over on, our, on Discord and you can post them there. Like I said, um, you can post them in the premium section as well because you can join for free for two weeks. So uh, yeah, just, uh, just check out what we got. I think... Uh, what do you guys think? I think you guys might be uh, pleasantly surprised. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in. I hope you uh, had a good start to the new year, 2024. I think as you can see, I mean, this is just a very condensed, summarized version of a few of the assets that I'm looking at. Um, you know, there's charts for, for, for not just gold and Forex and crypto. Uh, and, and the indices, there's uh, charts for individual stocks, there's charts for, uh, for commodities, uh, wheat, futures, soybeans, coffee, orange juice, sugar, whatever you like. All of this stuff is available. And the funny thing is that you can apply the same uh, three basic tools that we cover in the, in the, um, in the safe house toolbox modules. And yeah produce uh, consistent results over and over it's uh it's pretty amazing and uh life-changing too so i'm looking forward to this year i think we're gonna have a lot of fun beer <laughs> oh yeah beer <laughs> that's right anheuser bush yeah you can short or long beer too yeah obviously a company that uh 
that actually uh, manufactures it or is actually one of the biggest. I think it is the biggest. Isn't it the biggest uh, beer-related company in the world? So yeah, it's possible to look at that one too. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. I don't see any more questions in the chat. But if you do have some, just pop over on, on Discord. I uh, will see you there. And what's the next thing we got going on? Well, George is doing the update tomorrow, the daily sit rep. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll just see you in the next trading desk uh, session and see if we catch uh, something during the New York session. For example, today, that would be something that I'm really looking forward to. I'm not sure if I want to start trading right away today because it's the first day after a break. So I want to get into it a little bit, maybe um, observe. Maybe I take a small trade or something with a smaller position size just to get warmed up again, kind of get to get the machine going in a way. Does that make sense? Not just, you know, jump in full position size as usual. Um, I want to warm up first and then uh, perhaps tomorrow, Tuesday, we get some nice pivots put in and uh, have something nice going for the week as well. Yeah. That's my plan for now. Slowly ease into it. And uh, when things really beautifully line up and interesting levels start getting hit and interesting areas, like down here, for example, then, um, or up here, the yearly level, yeah, it doesn't really matter for me in the end. When these areas are hit, then uh, then I need to be ready to go. You know? Alrighty. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on Discord. Adios. Bye-bye. Tschüss. Take care.